to today's video. Today is warm out finally. Finally I'm going to get to go out and do some stuff with our horses and be like a regular horse family again. The girls are homeschooling. Sophie's doing science. Gabby's doing reading. And then you have to do your, your course, right? I did my course. Did your course for today? It's already all scheduled out. Gabby's is scheduled out for daily segments and then she has to do that. Sure. In the winter it feels like weekends we just kind of go a little bit more relaxed and just hang out and do stuff with family and with friends and that is what we did this weekend it was so cold we didn't really get a chance to go oh, anywhere sucks. what sucks um if there's a PA day at school then we don't get a PA day yeah that sucks you want to go to school no <laughs> they don't teach me well she does not want to go to school. None of, neither of them want to go to school, but if they did, it would be their choice. I would be the very first one to sign them up. Trust me. It's actually still kind of cold outside, but not too cold to ride, so I'm hoping to ride Penny today. And I'm hoping to ride her outside, and Sophie is going to ride her too. She brought her boots home last time we were at the barn. Hey. Hey, princess. You're dirty. Look. The cat's always here in his spot. He's like, come and pet me. <laughs> and Penny's always here in her spot. We're going to come and ride, Penny Pickle. You want to ride? I love the days that Sophie rides before me. I always just feel better. Like, she always is kind of funny for the first five minutes. And not, like, bad or anything. She's just being a horse. Like, she always, like, takes a couple minutes to settle into riding, and then we're good. So I'm going to get that set up. Get Penny Pickle groomed and tacked and let's get this show on the road but first we need to feed the chickens waterer is holding strong you guys some days it freezes and then we have to come out and change it and other days uh, when it's milder out it does well there you go this is the very first year that we've ever overwintered chickens and they're doing great they're doing okay they're alive they're happy they're healthy you're healthy <laughs> They're so cute. <laughs> They're like, don't catch me. I got Snow White. Got Snow White. And look at them pretty clean. Like you'd think oh. in the winter they would not be as clean. No, in the winter they would be more clean because it's oh. snow. So they... Yeah, true. Oh. You look so cute, Snow White. I think I'll be... Still not laying eggs. I know, like if we had a light in here, a he heating lamp and a light, they'd lay oh. eggs still. Oh. But other people we know, their chickens are laying. It's actually quite nice out here. Sophie and I are getting ready to ride. You ready to ride, Sophie? Get socks just, just get socks, you guys. And we're gonna ride outside. halter is penny pickle i literally cannot wait until spring clean up in the barn and it feels like spring today my penny where's your halter missy let's see if i left it out here because sometimes i do leave it out here pen we lost your halter hi little kitty boy hello yeah he loves horses it's funny how cats and horses get along so well but not cats and dogs. Oh, I'm sorry. You want me to rub your belly? You say, Gracie, could you just... Oh, he licked her. He likes Gracie. Isn't that so crazy? He's like, please. Okay. I can't walk away. I can't walk away. <laughs> Are you tickling her belly, Gracie? <laughs> His belly? You guys hear him purring? Gracie, go away. Gracie is always in the middle. You know why she left? Dun da da da. Little Miss Pony is coming over to see the kitty. 
You like him too? You like him? It's amazing to get to see a budding friendship between animals, different species. It's a boy. It's a boy. Don't bite him. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Go away. Oh, the poor cat. Everybody be bothering him. He clearly does not mind horses at all. There it is. It fell somehow. Somehow it fell, Pen. Right. Are you ready, Miss Penny Pickle? Yep, when Penny wants to go, when Penny wants to go, she shoves her face right in that halter. Good girl, Penny. She's so smart. Penny is a mess. Always. You're always a mess, Pen. I can even tell Penny's mood when I ask her for a kiss. Watch. Kiss. Oh, wait, you didn't see it. Just wait, watch her eyes. Hmm. I can't see, but it's weird. Like when I look into her eyes, I feel her eyes. When I look in her eyes with the camera, that's disgusting. When I look in her eyes in the camera, I can't see it the way like she talks with her eyes. But did you guys know that every person you meet and every animal you encounter through all of life, always has a story to tell, and all it takes is a few minutes to listen. But when we listen, we always listen with our personality or our ego, not our heart or not our spirit. But if you listen and truly, truly listen, you can set aside your ego and listen with your heart, and it's the most incredible, beautiful thing. And how I do it is I just clear my mind, surrender my spirit to the other person. I don't know if that makes sense, but I just relax and clear all my own thoughts and listen. You have to try it. It's something that not a lot of us know how to do. Not a lot of us do. We almost all listen to other people and their story in a jaded way, in a way from our personality, away from our experiences. We try and make sense of it in our brain. And as they talk and tell us their story, we try and make sense of it. And we can't because we can never know their story through their own footsteps. So, I challenge all of you to go out there and to choose one person today and listen to them with no expectations and, and not try and make sense of it. Just stand there and listen to their words and accept their words as their own and acknowledge them and then move on. It's the most glorious feeling. Like, I dare you to try it. It's beautiful. So, Penny is... Is that how you put it? Yep. So, actually, I put it the other way. I flip it so that it's not against her skin. There we go. That's how I do it. Right, Penny Pickle? So uh, Penny is, uh, is, seems really happy today and ready to go out and move and groove. And she's like a super sensitive horse. And I noticed, I've noticed that if you set, like I've noticed with Penny that I have to set the boundaries like before I get on. So I have to be, oh, it's slippery. I have to be like firm when I'm walking her and, and set the tone when I'm walking her. If, <laughs> if I'm all like wishy-washy when I'm walking her and not firm, then she tries to get away with more when I ride her. So I told Sophie to walk her because Sophie always sets the tone right. Now, how the heck do we walk to the back is what I want to know. There's Molly and Ruby. Who brought them? She just took a big bite of snow, Sophie said. All right, let's go. <laughs> She's looking for grass. She's like, woohoo, there's grass. I believe it. Deep that stool goes in the snow. Yeah, my girl just be sitting. All right, let's go. Stay away from the blocks there. I'll move the block. Okay. Settle down Day nights and late nights
nights don't get around But there's something about you Something about you I like About you I like Keep her going past me What? Keep her going past me, you can gate You're crazy for saying I should slow down But maybe I'm escaping the love we found There's something about you Something about you I like About you I like I get too drunk and too scared and lie to you If only you knew I would die for you One of us, one of us gotta say I got too high and almost left town But there's something about you Something about you I like About you I like I get too drunk and too scared and lie to you If only you knew I would die for you One of us, one of us gotta say the obvious Nobody loves me better seem like anything just going out there and riding her is that when she sat for six months waiting for an injury to heal like a minor injury to heal she it was harder to get her started again I want to like I just want to keep her where she is does that make sense Let me touch him. he is fat we love a fat cat. <laughs> the pony, he loves the ponies. It's so weird. So Gabby, Sophie wanted to take a few minutes to ride her inside because she's not fit and we don't, it's hard to like ride in the snow. Even though it's fun for us, it's not fun for her because it's a lot of like, it's good for her, but not too long. We just want to be. Um, yeah, I also threw in a down there. You threw in? Yeah. she. Sophie got her to do a little canter in the snow and it was amazing. Oh, Gracie avoided violence. I don't have detangler spray either, so. It's literally nap time for the ponies. They're like, why are you here? There she goes. Uh oh. Pony. Stop. Alright, ready for this one? Yep. Am I also 
running dust today. Beautiful! That's like my favorite feeling. Good girl. Good girl, yeah. A couple treats for you, good girl. I love her canter. I used to fit that's why. Tracy had another knot in her hair. All the main. I know, like, she likes, she's nosy, so she likes to go into the bushes and into stuff. And Gabby's always having to be down here brushing her hair. Don't you know that you're beautiful?